there are kind of um, other approaches to this type of problem or multiple approaches to this type of problem, but I always think the easiest is to just work with the common denominator. What these are called are complex fractions. And when you originally take the limit, you'll end up with 0 over 0, which is that red flag thing that I've talked about in the past. That's always an indicator that there should be something algebraically that you can do um, that that would be able to get rid of the issue. And so, uh, like I said, what I typically do is um, just work with the common denominator. The, the issue here is this part, which is the 1 over 2 plus x minus 1 half. Uh, that's the fractions that are within this fraction. And so I am going to figure out what the common denominator is for those two fractions. And then I'll multiply the top and the bottom by that common denominator. So I have the limit as x approaches 0 of x over 1 over 2 plus x minus 1 half. And my common denominator is going to be 2 times 2 plus x. So I'll multiply the top and the bottom by 2 times 2 plus x. And when I say top and the bottom, I mean like the top here and the bottom down here. So this is 2 times 2 plus x over 2 times 2 plus x. And on the top, <coughs> in the numerator, you'll end up with 2x times 2 plus x. And in the bottom, when you multiply it, you have to sort of distribute it through both fractions. So when you multiply it by the first fraction, the 2 plus x will cancel out. So you'll end up with just 2. And in the second fraction, the 2 will cancel out. So you'll end up with just 2 plus x. And then you can um, simplify. So this would be 2x times 2 plus x over 2 minus 2 minus x. Well, the 2's are going to cancel out, leaving you with, I'm not giving myself a whole lot of room here, um, 2x times 2 plus x over negative x. And again, then the x's can cancel out. So I have 2 times 2 plus x over negative 1. And now I'll redo that limit as x approaches 0. That leaves me with 2 times 2 plus 0 or over negative 1 or negative 4. And so then there's my limit. So again, it's just work with the common denominator. So in this um, next one, kind of the same thing. When I plug in um, the 1, I get 1 over um, 1 plus 0 plus 1. And this gives me an undefined situation in the problem, which should also raise a red flag. So it's not the same thing, but it's an issue. I can't get an answer. So I'm going to use that same thing that I did on the last problem and find the common denominator. Well, remember, this is over 1, so I'll multiply the top and the bottom by um, negative 1 plus x times 1, which I don't really need, over negative 1 plus x times 1, again, which I don't. So I'm going to multiply the top by that and the bottom by that. So the top will give me x times negative 1 plus x. And the bottom will give me, when I multiply the, the first fraction, the negative 1 plus x is going to cancel out, leaving me with 1. Plus, when I do the second fraction, um, the 1 will cancel out, kind of. Um, and that'll leave me with negative 1 plus x. So again, in simplifying, I get x times negative 1 plus x over 1 minus 1 plus x, or x times negative 1 plus x over x. The x's cancel out. Then I can redo my limit. As x approaches 1, I would end up with negative 1 plus 1, or 0 for that limit. And continue on watching or don't. It doesn't matter. I'll just run through that one last problem, and you can see it in action and then give it a try. But you might have enough right now for that. So um, if you do, great. If you don't, here it is. I end up with 
uh, when I evaluate 0 over 0, there's my red flag. So I will do limit as x approaches 0 of 1 over 4 plus x minus 1 over 4 over x. It doesn't matter that my complex fraction is in the numerator this time. I'm still going to treat it the same way. My common denominator is 4 times 4 plus x over 4 times 4 plus x, leaving me with, on top, the limit as x approaches 0 of 4 minus 4 plus x. That's multiplying by the first, the 4 plus x cancels out, multiplying by the second, the 4 cancels out, over x times 4 times 4 plus x. When I simplify the limit as x approaches 0, I get distribute that negative 4 minus 4 minus x over 4 times x times 4 plus x. That leaves me with the limit as x approaches 0 of negative x over 4x times 4 plus x. The x's will cancel. I'm down to the limit as x approaches 0 of negative 1 over 4 times 4 plus x. I go ahead and I plug in the 0, negative 1 16th. Um, so I, I hope that helps, but top and bottom by the common denominator, and that should do the trick. Let me know if you have any questions. Have a good one.